Hey, good morning YouTube and welcome back to Vinny's Fiddles. It's episode four uh, in our segment of what we love to have during the holiday season. Now, um, everybody knows that at Thanksgiving we're going to have turkey and we're probably going to have a ham and we're going to have other stuff that goes with it, but we never can decide what has to go with the turkey and the ham. Of course, you need sweet potatoes and things like that, but one of the staples that we have to have at our kitchen table every year at Thanksgiving is a pineapple cheese casserole. It's my mom's recipe. She has to make it every year. There's no question about it. It's a must have uh, at our house on Thanksgiving. And I hope that you'll try it and see how you like it. And maybe it can be a must have on your table from now on. Let's talk about what all is going to go in the recipe and what you're going to need to make it, all right? As far as ingredients go, these are the things that you're going to need. You're going to need rich crackers. And we're going to use one sleeve of rich crackers. You're going to need two cups of the uh, shredded sharp cheddar cheese. Uh, we're going to use some Pam to grease the pan just a little bit. We're going to use two 16 ounce cans of uh, chunked drained pineapple. So you want to make sure that you drain it before you use it, okay? Two 16 ounce cans. You're also going to use um, a half a cup of sugar and three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. And we're going to need two sticks of butter. Now don't panic on the butter because it might not take quite that much, but you need to have two sticks just in case. Today we're using a eight and a half by 11 casserole dish, glass casserole dish. This is actually my mother's dish that she makes this incredible recipe with every year. I'm not sure how it got left at my house, but we're going to keep that as our little secret. Um, but this is the actual pan, so it has like magical properties because <laughs> it's my mom's. All right, now it's time to prep our casserole dish. We're going to use Pam, just the old regular original thing. Just kind of give it a light coat around the sides, around the back. Sweet. There we go. Our casserole dish is now prepped. All we want to do now is add the two 16-ounce cans of chunked pineapple. Once we get that in, all we want to do is just kind of spread it around, make sure we've got an even coat all the way through the pan through the dish. I don't want to leave any chunks, any big bald spots. Right, excellent. So now that part is ready. So now let's add our dry ingredients. So I'm going to set this to the side. At this point we're going to bring in a mixing bowl. We're going to add our uh, half a cup of sugar. We're going to add the three quarters cups, three, yeah, three quarter cup of all-purpose flour in our package it includes two cups of shredded sharp cheese and then all we want to do is just kind of mix this together okay so we're just going to kind of stir it around mix it together all right so we're just mixing this together how's that look, look like I got it mixed pretty thoroughly pretty good to me. Alright now, the next step is to take our pineapple and we're going to take it just like this and we're just going to pour all these ingredients on top. Now we're going to spread those around just like we did the pineapple. To make sure that we have a nice Good mixture. All right, and then we just kind of want to just kind of grab it like that. That way, all the pineapple can kind of get mixed in a little bit too, you know. We want to make sure that we get it nice and even as much as possible. At this point, you want to go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. While that's preheating, let's go ahead and crush up the rich crackers and add them to the top of what we got going on so far. Now. You can do this ever how you want to. You can squeeze them and crush them right there in the package, which might be easier than anything else, or you can take them out and crush them in your hand. I like to do it this way, that way I'm not making a big mess and getting crumbs everywhere. There we go. And then I can just pour them on. Now, we're just going to put a light coating all over the top of the dish. Now 
And you may have to spread this out after you pour them on there, kind of like we did everything else, just to make sure you got it nice and even. That didn't do too bad. We're just going to spread it out a little bit. That looks pretty good. Okay, now it's time to slice the butter and we want to put this and spread it evenly across the uh, top of the, uh, the dish. We're going to slice it thinly and just lay it right on top of the rich crackers. And this will, of course, as it cooks, soak in and add to the deliciousness. All right, so we're just going to slice it thin. Lay it on. Okay, so I only used one stick of butter. Now you can add more if you want to, um, but I think that's probably enough. Uh, the recipe calls for just a nice coating all the way across the top, and that's, you know, I think we got that accomplished with just one stick. Now that we've got our dish covered with the butter, we've got all of our ingredients mixed in together, we're going to place it in the oven. Um, the recipe calls for about 30 minutes, but you might want to just check it around that 30 minute time and just make sure it's nice and bubbly and gooey and delicious looking. Uh, but it should be about 30 minutes, it should be ready, just make sure that you check it as you go along. We've taken it out of the oven, and we let it cook for about 30 or 35 minutes just to make sure that it was nice and hot and all melted all together good. You want to make sure that it's all bubbly and really attractive. Then, before you serve it, you need to let it cool. Once that, as it cools, it will congeal back together and everything will be nice and, you know, together like it's supposed to be. So you don't want to serve it too hot. Um, the last thing you want to do is put a hot piece of pineapple in your mouth because that is really, really rough on your body. So I'm going to try it. I believe it's had time to cool off enough that I can sample it. Uh, it really looks good. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Yeah, that is very, very good. Mm -hmm. I think you'll like it. Be sure to comment and let me know what you think about it if you try the recipe. We're going to put the recipe in the description box down below. So you want to make sure you check it out there in case you forgot any of the ingredients that we talked about and the process for preparing it. Hope you enjoy it. Have a great Thanksgiving.